Terrifier 3 not only has its first big trailer dropping this week, but today we also have some brand new images from the film that has me pantomime laughing my little clown butt off. Now let's get into it! <laughs> Hey everybody, before we get into today's updates, I just wanted to put a reminder out there that the membership program for this page has undergone a massive rehaul. There are now two new tiers to join if you'd like to support this page and see weekly exclusive content. At the $5 Ghostface tier, you gain access to the Horror Hot Take series, where each week I'll be covering a horror film from the past that $10 Art the Clown members get to pick. Please consider supporting this channel on either of those tiers as it keeps this page alive. I had to refund previous subscriptions to do this revamp, so I'm shaking in my boots a little right now. Thank you to everyone who has continued to support this page over the years. Now let's get into the update. USA Today has just published an exclusive interview with Terrifier 3 writer-director Damien Leone, which unveils some exciting new photos from the upcoming threequel, as well as confirms that the trailer will arrive this Wednesday. You already know your boy will be covering it then. I cannot wait to see the first trailer for the film that arrives on October 11th of this year. But now let's talk about these bloody new stills. First up, is a new shot of Arthur Claus wearing some sick new Christmas tree glasses. After Art became a meme during the marketing of Terrifier 2, wearing his bright yellow sunflower glasses and an image that lives rent-free in my head, of course the same team making this next film had to pay homage to that. Discussing Art's new attire and personality, Leone says, you can put this character anywhere, in any setting, in any time, and he would work. He's just so ridiculous in any situation. If I put Art the Clown in the Santa suit, now that makes Art fresh again. The big clue that can be pulled from this image is the sign in the back that reads Mia and... I can't tell what that other name is. I've been looking at it for 20 minutes, guys. More on that later. This tells me that Art the Clown has wandered into a college dorm room. Now let's hit the rewind button real quick to talk about why. We learned back in February that a casting call was put out for Terrifier 3 looking for a character named Mia. She's described as female, 18 to 22, and can be any ethnicity. Mia is Cole's girlfriend, Jonathan's college roommate, another brand new character in this film. Mia is described as a cute, fun, popular college girl with with a bit of a mean streak. Mia and Cole have a big loud energy when they are together that can be magnetic or turn sinister and obnoxious. The role also requires a shower scene of intimate nature and partial nudity. This shot of Art the Clown here seems to be the guy breaking into her dorm and attacking Mia, Cole, Mia's unnamed roommate, and potentially Jonathan Shaw. We also know that actress Alexa Blair Robertson has been cast in the role of Mia, and I don't think her or her boyfriend will see the new year based on those claw marks on the wall there. I'm also speculating that we get a triple kill from Art the Clown here, including the aforementioned couple and whoever Mia's roommate is. Again, I cannot figure out that name based on the cast list. I'm so sorry. Maybe one of you have it figured out. Leave it for me in the comments. I'm guessing the sequence will go something along these lines. Roommate gets killed by Art the Clown in this shot right here, followed by an elaborate death sequence in the shower with the couple. They will likely be distracted in the throes of passion or, you know, just banging each other's brains out. Sorry to be so grotesque. Our second photo here is technically our first official still of Sienna Shaw in the third film. We got this photo of Lauren Lavera between takes a little while ago, but I don't think you'll actually see this in the movie. I do love the energy, however. Great stuff, Lauren. Here we see Sienna looking into the other room with a terrified look. Is Art the Clown paying her a visit this Christmas? Discussing our final girl who barely made it out alive in the previous film, Leone says, especially for Sienna, it hasn't been an easy road. She's been in and out of a mental health facility just dealing with all of this, not only just what she's been through, but what she's becoming and what her role will be in this universe. I wonder what Leone means by what she's becoming. I don't think Sienna's gonna go down the same path as Victoria Hayes and become evil in this one. Terrifier's kind of already played that card, right? We have to have some sort of light cutting through the darkness. We've already learned that there's a five-year time jump in between Terrifiers 2 and 3, meaning Sienna is likely healed from her physical wounds, but not so much from the emotional trauma. She lost her mother in Terrifier 2 and now lives with her aunt and uncle on her mom's side. Leone has promised that we will learn more about her mysterious father and his connection to Art the Clown in this film, as well as who the hell is the little pale girl. Still no word on if Emily McLean will return to play the character in Part 3. I wonder if the demonic entity that posed as the little pale girl in 2 will take on a different shape here in the third film. Speaking of which, we also have our first look at Victoria 
Victoria Hayes in Terrifier 3 looking even more decrepit than she did at the end of T2. Leone confirms that she is possessed by the entity in the new film, making me think she takes on the little pale girl's role here. I'm mentally preparing right now to not see that character in this flick who is such a standout from Terrifier 2. I think Victoria Hayes will be serving as the supernatural component in this one. While it does make me really sad to speculate that, I love the way that this character looks. Victoria looks like she hasn't taken a shower during that five-year time jump we were just talking about and makes the character's fate even more sad. You'll remember from the first Terrifier that she was technically our first final girl. Art the Clown ate her face, though, and now she's unwillingly crossed over to the dark side. We all saw her birth out Art the Clown's severed head during the post credit scene of the sequel. Nasty. Some speculation I've done on this entity, which is probably the devil, let's be honest, is that it can take the shape of any of Art the Clown's previous victims. The little pale girl is Emily from that news cutout we saw in Terrifier 2. The character, I think, is Art the Clown's first victim. No, we've never seen that on screen, but if you think about it, the first Terrifier feels like we just jumped right into the middle of this franchise. No backstory for the character, he's just got his garbage bag full of tricks already and he's gonna cut people in half. Usually the early signs of being a serial killer is like you're killing rabbits in the backyard or something, right? We totally skipped over that with Art the Clown. There is definitely more to this story to lead up to all the events we've seen so far. Things that happened in the past that we just haven't seen quite yet. She appears to be at the same location that Art the Clown kills at during these photos here. The cobwebs, blue light, and old wood are the biggest indicators there. I wonder if this is where the duo has been hiding out for the last five years, waiting until Christmas to strike again. I've been speculating that this is someone's attic, but what if they're hiding out in like an abandoned house somewhere similar to Michael Myers in Halloween. Could some kids sneak into the place and run into these unsavory characters? I think that might be a possibility. These new photos and interview excerpts have me so excited to see the film arriving on October 11th in theaters this year. Before that though, we have Stream coming from director Michael Levy from the same team that brought you Terrifiers 2 and 3, another slasher film that arrives on August 21st. Check out the trailer now. We also just got word that the public domain slasher Scream Boat starring David Howard Thornton, Art the Clown, just wrapped production. I look forward to both of those projects, as well as the Terrifier 3 trailer dropping this Wednesday. 48 hours, people! Oh my god! Look out for a new video then. Before we wrap up today's Terrifier update video, I'd like to ask you all to subscribe to my new gaming channel, Galgatha. I just uploaded a new video there today on a terrifying video game called Tattletale that was a ton of fun to play. Please subscribe to that page now and help me hit my goal of a thousand subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has already checked it out. What do you all think about this huge Terrifier 3 update? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all again for watching, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.